today we are going to review the EasyCo 4K HDMI splitter and scaler. Welcome back to Ben's Tech Lab. If you're one of my YouTuber friends, then you know that I record all of my videos on a Blackmagic ATEM Mini Pro ISO. This little video switcher and recorder can record up to four cameras or computers at a time to an external SSD drive. This is super convenient because I don't have to go around retrieving a bunch of SD cards or video files and all my media on the SSD is automatically synchronized in my DaVinci Resolve video editing project. The only thing is that at this price point, the ATEM Mini can only record Full HD or 1080p. It can't record 4K. I like my computer monitor at 4K and I don't want to force it into 1080p all the time, so how can we record a 4K computer output using an ATEM Mini product? We need a video scaler. Now there are many very expensive and likely very good video scalers on the market, often ranging from $500 to $2,000 but I don't need anything at this level of pro capability. So today we're gonna to test this very inexpensive 4K to 1080p HDMI splitter and scaler that I found on Amazon. This is the EasyCo 4K HDMI splitter and scaler. It can accept one 4K HDMI input right here and has two HDMI outputs on the other side. One will go to my computer monitor and one will go to my Blackmagic ATEM Mini Pro ISO for recording. The special thing about this product are these little dip switches. These dip switches allow you to turn on optional video scaling. So my monitor can still be running at full 4K resolution while the output going to my Blackmagic A10 Mini Pro ISO can be running at a scaled down 1080p resolution. So let's hook this up and see how well it works. All right, let's open this box a little bit more here and see what's included. So, this is a USB powered device. So it just comes with a USB cord and the box itself. It does not come with any HDMI cables or a power adapter. You need to have your own source of USB power to get this guy uh, operating. Um, there are a few uh, little settings that we're gonna set on here before we get going. So uh, on here for EDID, it defaults to copy one. That means that it is going to present the uh, monitor uh, signature, which is called the EDID or EDID, on the HDMI 1 output. So if I plug my monitor here, it will pass through and it will tell my computer, oh yeah, you've got a Dell 4K monitor attached because it's copying the signals from this one to present to my computer. That's great, that's what I want. I want it to see a Dell monitor there. HDMI output 2 is the one that we want scaled. So when it ships from uh, Amazon, it has the scaler turned off by default, uh, which is the up position on those little dip switches. There's a little manual here that will uh, give you some tips on uh, how to set this thing. Uh, but basically we want to set output two to be have the scaler turned on. So we're going to click one little dip switch on there. Ah, did come with a little like uh, SIM card removal tool little metal pin that you can use for uh, pressing the reset button for firmware updates, but you can also use it to uh, flip the little dip switches. Let's get this all hooked up. There we go. So monitor came back on uh, and is working great. Let's switch over to the computer and uh, do a little test with a few apps here to see how well it's recording. All right, we've moved over to the computer and uh, we've got the monitor here at 4K and it's being recorded scaled down at 1080p. So let's take a look at a few different apps to see how the output quality looks. A higher end video scaler that's $500 to $2,000 may have slightly better crisper output or maybe more color accurate output. I'm not really sure, but I think for what I'm doing, playing around on YouTube as a hobby, uh, this should be just fine. So let's take a look here. We've got uh, the ATEM Mini software app. This is what can control the uh, device that I'm using to record my YouTube videos. You can see it's recording here. It tells me my time code, how long I've been recording. It's going to a Samsung T5 SSD. I'm not actually gonna change any settings here because I'm actually recording this video, but this should give you an idea of what the user interface looks like when it's scaled down to 1080p. 
So next up, uh, I spend a lot of time in Visual Studio Code. Uh, I use this in my day job, but I also use it for hobby purposes. Uh, this is the Ben's Tech Lab website. I had to make sure that I had something available that uh, doesn't break any kind of non-disclosure uh, sort of deals with work, right? So this is my, here's the 404 page from, um, from my website for Ben's Tech Lab. And uh, actually it looks like I've already got it zoomed in too. So that's the native 4K resolution, which scaled down might be a little uh, small to read. Uh, Visual Studio Code is really good about zooming. It scales really nicely. So it's very easy to just uh, jump in a little bit, make it more legible on a uh, YouTube recording. So there it is. Uh, if I were doing some sort of software development tutorial, then this is what it would look like. Uh, you're seeing it before I do because I'm obviously looking at the 4K monitor right now. So we'll see how that looks when I actually review the video. Uh, let's take a look at a browser. So this is the uh, companion, BitFocus companion software. This software allows me to use a stream deck from Elgato to control and automate my YouTube studio. So I can program various buttons on here to do things like changing cameras, changing what's shown on my confidence monitor and uh, starting and stopping recording or starting and stopping live streaming and, and all sorts of things like that. So I was tweaking a little bit here today, just uh, setting up a few things, playing around with what I could uh, accomplish. You can see right now that the recording is going and uh, I've got a toggle record button, which lets me take like a little break and intermission in my recording. I can just toggle it off, toggle it back on and the same recording files are just continued, which is really slick. Um, again, web browsers, this is the 4K look uh, and you're gonna be seeing it before me again, scale down to 1080p. But if I were doing more web browser stuff, I do have the option of zooming in like that. That's three control pluses in uh, Firefox here, 133% shows in the browser bar. So um, that's what it looks like zoomed in. And there's back to the native 4K monitor experience. Well, I like this product quite a bit. I like that I get to keep my monitor at 4K all the time and I can still record at 1080p at the press of a button. I want my studio to be available at a moment's notice so I don't have to do any changing of resolutions or rewiring things. It's just ready to go. And this product gets the job done for me. If you enjoyed this video and this helps you make a purchase decision, consider using the affiliate link in the description below. It helps me out quite a bit and it doesn't cost you a penny more. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.